Welcome to Financial Education for the Nation and my name's Warren Shoot. In today's episode, I want to talk to you about a metaphor, something I developed back in the 90s with some colleagues and friends of mine when we ran an a investment club business called the House of Wealth. Now, the House of Wealth is a metaphor for how you should organize and plan your finances. Like with every good building, you have strong foundations. In the House of Wealth, we have seven areas that we want you to consider. We want you to consider your life assurance, whether you need life assurance in place to cover any debt and replacement income. We want you to consider critical illness cover. If you unfortunately diagnosed with critical illness, whether a sum of money, either lump sum or regular, would be beneficial to you. Disability insurance, so that if you're unable to do your own job, your income can be replaced. Private medical insurance. Private medical insurance will be payable if you're able to get private treatment through a, a consultant or in a hospital. We'd like you to consider your general insurances. Make sure your home is insured properly, your cars are insured, any items you take away from home. Wills, trusts, and power of attorneys. I go on about this all the time, but it's essential. Make sure you have the right ones in place so you're giving your assets to the right people at the right time. An emergency cash reserve. Making sure you've got a fully funded emergency cash reserve account in place. They are seven foundations which we put in place or at least consider with our clients before we move on to any investment or debt repayment. And I'll let you do the same. But the, found, the House of Wealth starts off on foundation, then goes up a level. So the next level is financial security. And you've achieved financial security in our world when you've repaid any unsecured debt that you have. So you may just be left with a mortgage secured against a property. And you also have a fully funded emergency reserve, anything between three and 12 months. I think I've done a separate video just on emergency cash. You can have a look at that. Once you've achieved your financial security, I then want you to progress. And I want you to make sure you save at least 12.5% of your income every single month. Why 12.5%? Because I've put it in before, it's the first hour of every working day. One hour out of an eight hour working day, 12.5%, pay yourself first. By saving this money either towards investment or overpaying on debts, I want you to move towards financial independence. And we define financial independence as when you have passive income coming in from various sources that meets your basic living expenses. And those basic living expenses will be your mortgage repayments your utilities, your general travel, your taxes, and your food, just your basic overheads. So not necessarily replacing your current lifestyle, but would cover you ba uh, your basic living expenses and make sure you're financially independent of work. But that's not enough for most people. We wanna make sure that you have a lifestyle that you're happy and you're fruitful with. So we're now gonna develop it and grow at one more stage to financial uh, freedom. And financial freedom is basically replacing your current lifestyle or the lifestyle that you desire. So making sure you've got enough income coming in from various sources to cover your current lifestyle or the lifestyle that you desire. So in addition to the previous um, expenses that I mentioned, you'd also have your WAM, your general spending money, your weekly spending money, your walkabout money, and also your holidays and travel. So add those on top and any other expenses that you might have in the equation. You might also include private school fees or education costs uh, if you also have those. So this is a hierarchy of covering from your foundation through security, independence and freedom. It's a way for you to have a plan, a map to organize yourself to know where you're going and how to head there. Remember, there's a couple of key things. Start with the foundations. Make sure you consider each of the single foundations. Make sure you cover the ones that are right for you and arrange the insurances. When you're moving towards the security, independence and freedom, save at least 12.5% of your income. 12.5%, first hour of every working day. And this either can be used to repay debt or invest in. We like a combination of the two. We feel repaying debt gives you security and confidence, but also investing gives you a mentality of abundance and opportunity and helps you learn. I hope this has been helpful for you. My name is Warren Shute and this has been Financial Education for the Nation. Thanks for watching. Please connect with me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. I'd love to hear your feedback.